welcome to another tutorial with me my name is crafty jojo and today i want to show you how i made this little bag it's made from a 12 by 12 inch designer paper piece of designer paper and it has a very cute closure um, i'm going to use different paper now because i uh, just don't like to uh, make exactly the same item again but i'm going to show you how the folds go for this so uh, this is a clutch bag that um, is relatively large you can put all your hand in and it is really pretty and um, depending on the paper you can give it a completely different look so what you need is a piece of uh, designer paper 12 by 12 inches and um, you put the side out that you want to be at the outside and you're going to fold it the first fold is diagonally on one side and the second one diagonally again so you have got this diagonal fold on your paper the next fold you are going to make is you fold it in half on both sides so this is the second fold so you fold it in half so that you have this cross here the next bit is you place it in front of you um, like so and you want to bring in one side and bring this side out again and you want to bring in this side and bring that side out again so that it basically folds up to a triangle with the sides squashed in this is what it looks like from okay so once you've got this figure you're almost there what you can do then is you are going to fold in one of these flaps okay you fold it in you have to eyeball it how and where you want to fold it and i just seen that i have not done a very decent fold here so i'm going to correct it so um you want to aim for um i would say it's not exactly the half a bit more than half of the length here to the middle you just fold it in you have to eyeball it what is important is because once you've done this fold uh, you want to fold it back on itself and then this bit should not cross this middle line here this is the fold here as you can see so there should be a gap here if this piece is too far over here um, you would need to change your first fold so once you've folded it in you can basically go for any size you want um, because depending on how close or how far you stay away de de determines the size of your bag but I roughly do a bit more than half from here okay look this is where my fold is so this compared to this so you fold it in and you fold it back on itself and make sure you do very crisp line and then you turn it and you do exactly the same and um, in order to de determine uh, the same height of this there's a very simple thing if you have this grid paper or any work surface with a grid you align the center fold here and then you push it so that this line goes exactly through here and then when you bring this up you can actually align it here and then this is at the same height so this is the next fold you're going to do and you fold it back on itself again so this is what you have at this point then you flip it over and you do do exactly the same again on this side so you fold it and fold it back on itself to create this and you turn it and you fold it over again make sure you align it with the help of your grid so that these two corners sit at the same height because if they are slightly different height your bag, bag will be uh, dodgy so use a grid paper and align the middle line here and then you can use that middle line to determine the fold okay so you fold this in and you fold it back on itself and this is what you have got at this time at this point so what you can do is you can fold these flaps back on itself fold it back on itself and then what i have done is i have already put in the double-sided sticky tape that goes to the inside so when you fold it back um, actually it's very easy now to put this double-sided sticky tape in and then the next thing you need to do because if you look at what you've got at this point you've got this little bag and these flaps here fold in and need to be glued down so that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to do this live on camera so you can see it it's a bit of a fiddly thing but it's not too difficult so 
you want to open your bag here so that you can fold this inward and you just press it down actually you can use the bone folder to make it crisp and you do the other side so you fold all four um, flaps inwards inside your bag so again make sure that this doesn't come undone and you fold it in and you give it a good rub to adhere it properly so the first two are sitting inside here and the other two are going to follow now so this is what we do so one and two and then your bag is almost ready so the second one again you open this up and you fold it in so I'm going to show you the finished bit what I've got now so this is what I've got this is what the shape looks like and if you open it up you see that these are glued inwardly now what you do is because this is the bottom of your clutch you just open up your bag like so so you, you push down a bit and square it up now the last bit is if you want to bring this in this because the clutch is going to fold up like so you would still need to fold this in and this is a tricky part which is very fiddly because you would need to try to pinch this together and then find can you see it what I'm doing align this and then align align it to this side so you bring this end together and you pinch it so when you pinch this together this is what you get you have this crisp fold in the middle and these two bits are pinched together and you want to do exactly the same on this side so we're going to pinch the middle you start with pinching the middle fold outwardly like so and now you make sure that this corner and this corner line up that they match and you fold it and then you do exactly the same on the back end so you make sure that these points lie together and that is your bag already pinched up now what's left to do is the closure and i'll get back to you in a minute for my closure i'm going to use um a mirror card stock that i like to go with it and this is some light pink one which is from crafters companion because stampin up doesn't have this color and i've gone for um, my biggest scalloped and stitched um, oval die and i've just die cut this bit and i'm going to use my um, ruler and my scoring tool or just this will do as well just roughly try to half it so that you can fold it in half it doesn't matter if it doesn't match up because when it sits on top you can't really tell that the sides are not 100 percent precise so this is how it's going to sit on top of here so um what i'm going to do is just use wet glue which is this one and i'm going to basically really what i want to do is i'll hold it together you want to align it and when you're happy with the way it sits you can lie it down and give it a rub so it sticks to the paper to the back side of your bag Ooh, I've done the dodgy glue here quickly separate it again sorry for that just go for it again it's not that easy to do it on camera when I do it on my own it just works at the first attempt but when you try to do it extra precisely and also make sure that you don't lose sight of what I'm doing in the camera it can get tricky here we go all right now it's better so you glue it to the back side and this is it's already looking beautiful isn't it don't worry about the um, 
glue on the mirror cardstock, I'm going to use um, something which is called, can't pronounce it, methylated spirit to clean my mirror cardstock from glue. Just a second. All right, I've just got myself some paper towel and I'll just rub on the mirror cardstock and it takes all traces of wet glue that might be stuck on your mirror cardstock off and that's it so let me close this up put it away now what's left to do is the closure i'm going to use two magnets and um, the ones i use are eight millimeters i think i buy them from this place omomagnets.com they're called neodyme and they are eight millimeters by one millimeter thick oops and you need two pairs so one and two keep them apart otherwise they jump on each other straight away and then you need super glue where is my super glue can't reach it here it is i use a tool a metal tool like this then let's just put one little blip on it. Not working. Uh, where is just a second? I hope I got it going now. So you need a little drop of your no I haven't. Oh dear me. This is going to be a disaster. I hope it's not coming out too much. Just a bit. You need a tiny bit of... My super glue has given up its ghost on me, really. Look at this. What's happening here? Oh, I poked through. Straight away glued my finger. Just a second. All right. You just need to put a bit of glue and then pop your magnet. Can you see it? Just pop it down. Don't go up so high because otherwise you will need foil because that's what I did with my first box uh, bag and um, I had to use four magnets which I wasn't very happy about. So I've got this problem solved. Try to place them at the relative same height, like so. Then Add on the second magnet that sits on top of the first. Add your super glue. Close your bag as straight as possible. Can you see? And bring your magnets down. And try to press down. It's slightly difficult. You will need to pinch it a bit hard in order to press the magnet down. Hold it for a few seconds and then it should sit, which it didn't. Great, nothing works in this tutorial, but at least I now have the glue marks so I can add some more glue where I need it. To do this offline because it just wouldn't work on camera. Well, what you do is you glue your magnets in place and when you close your bag, click, um, it sits nice and snug. What's happening here? I'm not happy with this. Just a second again. So I had to use uh, more glue because apparently I had glued the second magnet in with the wrong polarity and that's causing a pro of course a problem and then it doesn't stick so this is what your bag should should look like at this stage sorry for um, 
the issue here but that's as good as i could do it now, now the next thing you want to do is you want to add some sort of decoration and because the, my cardstock is slightly dented here i'm going to put my flower right on here so um here i actually create die cut a flower from snowflakes i'm just going to find some nice flower dies and um probably something like a rose because that's on the paper and then you can die cut a smaller oval as well put a sentiment like happy birthday merry christmas thank you or whatever you want to put and just glue it with um dimensionals to the front of your bag and that's basically it that's um how it goes so i'm going to finish off this uh, bag off off camera and then um take a picture of it and post it together with this tutorial well i hope you liked it sorry for the um little issues here with my closure but uh, it just didn't work out for me today i don't know why i hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'm going to um invite you to join my facebook group uh, the link is in the description box of this video tutorial um if you scroll down there's a little description box and there's all the links to my facebook group my um, etsy store my stampin up store my blog and god knows where else so all my social media really so um feel free to follow me on uh, my social media pages and join my group thanks again and bye bye